By turning a dirt mound into a house, I fixed the two biggest problems in America. The homeless problem, and the problem with all those weird dirt mounds that have no purpose. If you didn't know, America is covered in these old mysterious dirt mounds. It's like a whack-a-mole situation. Some of these mounds are ancient monuments protected by law, but others are recently dumped by construction workers building a new house. So I moved my whole family out and built us a home in a non-protected mound. You might notice there's no door, but that's a security feature so the dangerous American mammals don't come a knocking. Have you accepted Bear Jesus as your lord? Oh, <laughs> what is this? A family guy thing? Hey, PETA. So yeah, there's no door. I just burrow down to enter each time. There's a lot of work to do. Dirt mound life is a lot like farm life. My wife usually patches animal holes in the walls. My son Henry digs for grubs. And Samantha sucks water from roots. I'm the man, so I hunt for food. Each day I say I'm going out to hunt, but as you can see, it's a whole hassle to burrow in and out each time. So I tell my family they're eating fresh deer meat from the woods next door. But it's almost always just these rodents that I breed in my secret dirt lair. My wife patches those holes thinking it's from rodents coming in, but it's actually my rodents trying to escape. It's fun down here. I learned a lot from this experience, and I think those construction workers are going to be blown away once they see what I did with their useless dirt mound. Oh, 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 no! Oh, God, no! Kids, don't look! Oh, oh, oh! Oh. I never expected the construction workers would be so evil to cut my wife in half out of spite for making their business obsolete with my new housing system. <sighs> now I have to explain to my kids why we're only burying half a coffin because the other half of their mother was built into the foundation of the neighbor's house. <laughs> so... I guess to end things off, I'll tell you a relaxing riddle. Imagine you're a baby and you had the same idea as me to burrow into a mound of dirt, but you fell down into a cave. Would you rather have the cave be filling with bees or filling with water? A boy boy, boy proper gentleman, Flooby and Dan Loeb chose bees, and each of these smart little babies convinced a big bee to fly them out to safety. These four cuties now make it money racing seen as bee jockeys in a brand new sport they started. Baby Sean Peril chose water because he knows babies are natural buoyant. But oh no, with all the squats Baby Sean does, his backside is gonna be more buoyant than his front. This does not look good. Oh, Sean, at least now, please can you tell my wife that I'm sorry and comfort her in heaven. But please don't try to seduce her too quickly. Baby This Is For Rhymer was so enchanted by my riddle that he couldn't even decide, probably still high from the weekend looks like. In his inaction, bees and water both fill the glade, colliding like a spell is cast from wands of a twin core. Wow! Maybe, maybe it doesn't have to be a choice between water and bees. Wow. If you sleep, yes, you're gonna slide.